Welcome back everyone, Dual Threat Gaming. As always, I'm Ethan, and we're doing another Can It Up Tier Challenge. Sorry for the click there. Um, we're using M22, and I also had a friend with me today from my Discord, Eins. Was, uh, you'll see him in the video in a couple parts here. Definitely got some kills as well. But we're going to take out the M22, which is, I absolutely love this thing. It did really well. I think it actually did the best so far from the videos I've done. I've only done one, I think, so far for YouTube, but I do most of my... I do live stream this, actually, on, over on Twitch. Yeah, the M22 did fantastic. It's got a really quick firing gun. Um, the velocity gun is actually pretty good as well. And it's also got a M51 shot that allows it to punch up, to, I think, to 81 millimeters, which came in handy in some parts because I was point blank. But yeah, this thing's got a really short silhouette, so it's very small. Especially if you can get up under the tank, bigger tanks, they can't shoot down at you. It's really it's the chef's kiss, if I is as it was of uh, small tanks. Yeah, let's get started.
Okay, so in this part of the video here, um, just bad placement on this map, and we actually end up getting a full up tier in this match. So just a lot of mistakes going on uh, from my side. Just bad placement all the way around. But, um, Ayn's actually got into a fight, close in fight with a panther, which you're hearing some of the audio over that. Um, I moved to cover him right here, but I actually ended up engaging a, uh, a panther. Ayn's getting really excited at this point. He's like, I, I got this. And he's going with, we only have one life left, and he's going for the money, so. And thank God he got that kill, because we were pretty sure we weren't going to make it past 5.3 when we started the live stream. We are like, eh, we're looking for 5.3 probably. This in this clip here, I actually managed to get all the way across the entire map, just using that M22 speed. Um, I kind of didn't realize where I positioned myself in front of basically four tanks on the, on the other side of this hill here. Ainz is actually marking targets for me, like, hey, just letting you know there's a tank over there, there's right there, and there's a tiger going past. So I'm kind of hiding behind this bush, thinking I actually had my bushes actually on this tank, and I ended up realizing right now, like, oh, hey, I don't have bushes on this thing. But look at this tank is over here and doing some long-range engagements. I pop around off thinking, oh yeah, I'll pin that, and then I realize what tank I'm actually in. So I uh, <laughs> start backing up, and... I'm like, mm, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit here and uh, start pushing around, see if I can get a flank on these guys. And uh, very surprisingly, I don't think they even saw me moving around because one of them popped smoke and blinded all of them. So I was able to use that to my advantage and push. When I came over this hill though, I actually didn't realize some of our teammates had started engaging them and starting to distract them again. So fortunately they didn't, they could hear my engine, but they weren't really sure where I was. But they started taking fire from across the map so I was able to push and I'm looking I'm like alright I see one two I'm like oh panther easy let's go for it and uh, yeah I did not <laughs> did not get as many of the crews I wanted so I was like oh it's probably time to get out of here this ended up actually being one of my best moments from the live stream I was uh, I didn't realize how good of a flank I actually got on all of them um, but unfortunately my two shots didn't actually pin and do enough enough damage as I wanted to so I just booked it out of there. I think actually I'm getting the commander or the loader so I think pretty sure the panther still had a one shot in the in the chamber so he could have still got me so I booked it out of there. Ran around the building here. Come around the other side I didn't realize the panther was like alright I'm going full beast mode and start charging down the hill. I ended up actually getting pot shot off not really doing anything damaging but right here was the money. Got up right up under him, and I knew he couldn't pin me from there. So I was just took out as many of the top crew in the turret, and then just finished him off right here. Those were my favorite moments of the day, and I was super pumped after this. match we actually ended up getting to 7.0 um, we went around the entire bottom side of the map and tried to come up and flank around normally when I play this map for whatever reason I get a lot of people to push C um, ended up actually not really finding anyone and on top of that our entire team got clapped within like the first two minutes so we basically didn't really get to do much so this actually ended up being a draw for us 
And this is the last match of the day. And I'm a big idiot and decided to get stuck on some rocks and not be able to help the team. Well, there's like two or three tanks on the other side over there by those rocks to uh, actually be able to take them out or do anything. And our team ended up getting pushed back really hard and able to pull me out. I think over here a Centurion and a Martyr end up actually one of them end up taking me out. But um, I absolutely love doing this. I'm probably, I do it every Monday over on Twitch and sometimes we'll be starting soon to be streaming this over on YouTube. But if you want to see more, please make sure to drop a like and uh, subscribe and we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.